How's it going, Joker family? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another Madden video for you guys. So, as you guys can see, limited time players, we have David, Tyree, and Franco Harris. I already know, I know this Franco Harris is about to be a problem, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. And on top of that, we're going to talk a little bit about, as much as you guys should know from last night. We have the MVPs out, the offensive rookies, offensive players, yada, yada, yada. And we're going to talk about all that as soon as we get through these limited time players. Now, personally, I, I get why David's in the game, but I personally don't like this card at all. To me, I, I saw the stats on it. it. The stats are not that great. And here's the thing. like, I feel like there could have been a better player suited for this again i get the moment that he was in like they him and eli they you know topple the freaking undefeated patriots so like and that was pretty much the moment that essentially sealed the game and i and i understand that but i don't know man me personally i would much rather have a better player at this position i mean I guess it just is what it is. But anyways, we have David Tyree here. 92 speed, 96 jump, 91 catch, 92 catch in traffic, 96 spec, 94 short, 95 mid, and 92 deep. So his route running's not bad. His catching, not bad. He's just, he he's not a bad receiver. I just wish that there was a more better play. We have so many receivers in this game. Just so many. And unless you're running, like, Giants theme team, you're not going to use this receiver. I, you're going to still see people running around with Moss, with Rice. It's a run meta game, so people might not even run the ball. I mean, people might not even pass the ball. So, like, you know what I'm saying? You got a T.O. So, it's like, no, nobody's going to pick up this David Tyree. I would rather it be used on maybe a position that could use some help, like, you know, a better outside linebacker. I don't know. Like, they put him in a game, you know, give us a, I don't know, James Harrison. That man scored a 90-something uh, yard interception um, during the Super Bowl against the Cardinals. So, I mean, like, I would rather have that. James Harrison on the outside, That I would probably pick that up. With his hit power and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure they'll give him some crazy speed. So he'll probably be, you know, decent in coverage. So, like, I don't know, man. I I just don't personally like this David Tyree, in my honest opinion. But, again, you know, it is what it is. I understand why he's in the game. Don't get me wrong. But I just, <clears throat> I just feel like they could have picked somebody else. But, anyways, next up we have Franco Harris. Now, Franco Harris, if you guys remember from last year... This man was an absolute beast. He was annoying to play against, and he's going to be annoying to play against in this one too. So, six foot two, he has 91 speed, 87 acceleration, 95 awareness, 96 carry, 80 cap, 75 run block, 84 lead block, and 86 impact block. Now, again, th this is not what I'm worried about. It's more so of everything else. He has 93 awareness. I mean, 95 awareness, 93 acceleration. 80 catching for a freaking fullback ain't bad. That's better than most halfbacks in this game. So, that's really something. Run block's not the best coming in at 75, but again, you know, that's not what he's known for. 91 truck, 82 elusiveness, 94 ball carrier vision, 93 stiff arm, 84 spin, 90 juke. Th like, this is pretty much... A slower power back in my honest opinion like he he's for sure if if you're in red zone he's gonna probably for sure get you a touchdown okay if you run full back dives hell if you even put him at halfback and put a better run blocking fullback in front of him like you know what I'm saying like, there's so many different ways you can go about this now here's my honest opinion on this okay and it's just my opinion I'm personally not going to pick up Franco Harris, okay? 
Here's the reason why. For me to use Franco Harris will essentially mean that I'm going to be taking away from two of my already beastly halfbacks in, um, by say Derrick Henry, Eric Dickerson, and Bo Jackson. Okay, for me to pick up this Franco Harris, I don't run fullback dives, and if I do, I put Bo Jackson in, which, in my honest opinion, has better running stats than Franco Harris. So, to me, the only thing Franco Harris is going to be really useful, in a sense, for me for is for kickoffs when people do that kick to your fullback because they don't want to kick it to your return man. That's about it. Because I use Bo as a fullback when I get into the red zone. Eric Dickerson stays at halfback. And when I'm running my basic plays, I'm not going to use Franco Harris because I have already two of the best running backs in the game. So it's like... I can't really use him for much, Franco Harris. So, again, he is a good card. If you don't have a Bo Jackson, if you don't have Eric Dickerson, absolutely is a good card and he's worth picking up. So, just in my opinion, he's just not going to be on my team personally. So, those are my two cents on the players. And, you know, Franco Harris, yeah, if you guys have him, if you get him, go ahead, pick him up. He's a BC halfback. He'll help out a lot of teams. Especially if you don't have that dual dual threat at running back like I do, like with Dickerson and Bo Jackson. So and on top of that, Dickerson and Bo Jackson are my theme team, so I'm not getting rid of neither one of them. And that's you know, that's just my opinion on that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and talk about this everything in a nutshell. So we have the MVPs out, which is Lamar Jackson. We have Offensive rookie, which is Michael Thomas. We have defense, I mean offensive rookie. Offensive player of the year, which is Michael Thomas. There we go. Offensive rookie of the year, Kyler Murray. Defensive player of the year, Stephon Gilmore. And we have defensive rookie of the year, Nick Bosa. Comeback player of the year, Ryan Tannehill, which a lot of people thought it probably should have been Darren Waller. There we go. Some people thought it should have been him. Kind of wish it was him, but from what Ryan Tannehill did, I get why he's the comeback player of the year because for Darren Waller, it was more of like off-the-field issues also included in why he wasn't performing well coming up to this point where he now he's doing good on the Oakland Raiders. But Tannehill went from the trash-ass Dolphins. Sorry to say it, but it's true because I'm a Dolphins fan. But Tannehill went from the trash Dolphins to being a second-string quarterback on the Titans to then going on this streak after Marcus Mariota was completely fucking up. He went on this. They benched Marcus Mariota, put Tannehill in, and Tannehill just went on this monster streak, which everybody followed behind him on this streak and eventually got his team deep into the playoffs when everybody thought, that it was going to be Ravens and probably 49ers again, kind of like a rematch of the one of the best games during the season of this year. So people thought that was going to be the rematch of them. But they, Titans weren't playing around. They completely, like, ignored all that. And Ryan Tannehill freaking came in, balled out. Even though it was mainly Derrick Henry, but... You know, Ryan Tannehill did his part as a quarterback. He still threw some dots during the season. He threw some dots during the playoffs. So, he did his thing. He didn't throw picks. Didn't fumble the ball if he got sacked. Whatever the case is. So, I get why he's the comeback player of the year. So, not knocking him for that. Now, and last but not least, the player that I'm mostly looking forward to is... Clayus Campbell got the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Now, as far as Michael Thomas and Clayus Campbell, I don't know how they're going to do this because Michael Thomas has already gotten... I'm guessing these are going to be 97 overall players. If not, I'm, yeah, they will have to be 97 overall players. Possibly. Could be 98. I'm not sure what the overall would be. From last year, I believe, they were 97s. So, if it's 97 overall, 
Michael Thomas and Calais Campbell both have 96s. So I don't know if it's going to be one of those things where they're going to do what they did for, what was his name, Blue Keekly in his tribute card. Because they gave, um, they put something out for Luke Keekly and then they put something else out, which was his tribute card. So if you had his tribute, or if you had his team of the year, I think it was, or I think it was his team of the year. If you had his team of the year, then you didn't have to worry about his tribute card. It just turned into his, you know, the team of the year card turned into the tribute and you got all those stats. Since they are so close in stat wise, between the 96s for the team of the years, I don't know if they're going to just be like, oh, the NFL honors, we're just going to turn those, you know, if you have the team of the year, there you go. Now you have the NFL honors, which I hope they do because that means I ain't going to have to spend no coins on Calais Campbell because I do want Calais Campbell on my team. So I don't know how they're going to do that. I, I hope they do it that way, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they will roll out the NFL the NFL honors players. They should be probably rolling them out next week. Um, if I had to guess, it, they might roll out before Series 5. Okay. Will they do that? I don't think so. Because, you know, EA is probably so focused on Series 5 and getting that updated that they might not be able to roll those players out. But I'm guessing they're going to probably be rolling out some more, a little bit more Super Bowl players or whatever the case is for the limited time. They could drop the NFL honors throughout the week, which that's what I'm hoping for that they do. They could start up on Ultimate Legends this upcoming week. Because understand, guys, we, we don't have veterans anymore. We don't have, we're not going to have Legends anymore. We're not going to have, you know what I'm saying, these things are going to be done. So they got to put something else in there to replace that content. I'm hoping that it's going to be either the NFL Honors or it's going to be Ultimate Legends. Okay? So that's my two cents on it. That's what I think is going to happen. Those are limited times. Those are the NFL Honors. Could we have Ultimate Legends rolling out? Maybe. We'll see what happens. You guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys want them to roll out first? Whether it be the NFL Honors or the Ultimate Legends, what are you guys looking forward to seeing first? With that being said, guys, that's going to be the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, Joker Fam. Your support means a lot, guys. To the next one. Peace.